Hi there and welcome to another video. In the last video we spoke about name, servers, DNS, settings. In this video, as he promised, we're going to start looking at child name servers and we're going to see how to set up the name server so that we can use our own domain name as, as our name server. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into cyber panel. I can click here on DNS or I can come this side and I will create a name server. So I'll copy this domain, copy, and then here I want to create a name server. So the website for the name server will be that. And the first name server, I can use NS1. And the IP address, IP address, I'll copy that from here. So this is your VPS's IP address. Paste. And then the second name server. I will copy. And I will paste this one. NS2. And the IP address will still be the same. If you have multiple IP addresses, then you can use a second IP address and there's a way to add that on your server. So I'll create the name server. So you can see that the following name servers were successfully created. So once you, once you set up that, you first of all need to set up this and this will be your name servers. So the next thing you need to do is you need to create child name servers for ns1 and then for ns2 on your on your domain provider so whoever is hosting your domain make sure they have child name server support if you cannot create a child name server on their server on their on their platform then you should probably move your domain somewhere else so I know Namecheap supports this. This is called personal name servers and the interface for creating this is different. There's a there's a step-by-step -step guideline that you can find on the domain on the Namecheap website for how to create that. So I click here on name server, child name servers to create them, to create the name servers and to create the child name servers. So once I do that on my on the provider for my domain, you'll add if you have any name servers created. First of all, just delete them and then you can add in the new name servers. Make sure you delete the ones that are there before if you're not using them. And then you add the IP address for your VPS and then you add the second name server. Okay. So that's the first thing you have to do. And then the next step is for you to go under name servers. And then in name servers, of course, you want to put in the name server that you've just set up. All right. And then update the name servers. So once you do that, then you need to give it some time for the domain to propagate and then all the settings to get changed on the internet. And when once you do that, let's just see if we can if we can find a result. Copy. And then let's just try to go there and see if it brings any good results. So you can see that once we do that, our domain is being recognized as existing on our server so you can see this is a 404 meaning that the website does not exist all right so this is something that uh, something that is uh, is being generated by cyber by cyber panel so you can see it's a very easy step very easy to set up the three steps that you need to do to set up to set up your domain for your name servers is this number one just come in here you can do them in any order there's no order that you need to follow number one you need to create the name servers on your domain, right? On cyber panel. Once you create it on cyber panel, then the next step is for you to go to wherever your domain is being hosted, wherever you bought your domain from. Go there and see if they have child name servers. If they don't have, then this is not going to work because this is the only thing that is making the entire process work. Without this, it's not going to work. So if they don't have this, just move your domain somewhere else where they have child name servers or it's also called personal name servers and it's also called private name servers. So if that's something that you want to do, make sure they have that. And then once you set up the child name servers, lastly, you need to tell the internet 
where to go when people go to your domain. So if people come to this domain, where should they go? That is done using name servers. So you're going to tell the internet where your name servers are. So if somebody, somebody goes to my website, they're going to get redirected to this name server. And based on my child name servers, this redirects to my IP address. And my IP address has cyber panel installed. So cyber panel has light speed and light speed is going to look at is going to look at the configurations and then it's going to tell the internet that the website you're looking for javascriptbear.com yes is being handled by this server but unfortunately we don't know where to take you so if you want if you want the internet to know where to take people when they visit if you want your server now we are we are way past the internet now we've got into your server if you want your server to know where to take people you'll need to come here and you can add a website okay just to show you that the moment I add a website, then we come here, we're going to see something. We're going to see an index page. So let me just do that quickly before I end the video. So you're going to select a package and then on a admin domain name, let's set up JavaScript bear and then select PHP. We want to use the latest version of PHP and then additional features. Now, since my domain name already has name servers that are working, I can actually set up SSL right away and it's going to and it's going to create the correct SSL for me because my name servers are in order. And then of course you want to support DKIM. This will ensure that your mail gets delivered. And then you want to, of course you want to you want to set up this to avoid certain files from being accessed. And then you want to create mail domain, right? You want mail support for this email. So for this, I can just add a sample email address and then I will create website. So it's saying starting creation. As soon as that happens, I can even come in here. If I reload the page, I should be able to see something. Just give it time. And now when I reload the page, you're going to see an index page for cyber panel has been set up. Now let's go and see if H if SSL is working. Let's just add HTTPS. And you can see SSL is working. Okay, certificate, let's see who's issued our certificate. And you can see it's been issued using Let's Encrypt. So as long as your DNS records are in order, you can set up your SSL using Let's Encrypt and it will automatically get regenerated. So in this video, you've seen how you can use your child name servers to set up, to set up your website so that you can use your own domain as your name servers. So any website that you add on, any website that you decide to add on Cyber Panel, you can just use this name servers and it will automatically redirect them correctly to your server. Right? So any website that you create, you'll just use the same name servers for them. You don't have to create other name servers. So it's like your website now is like the web host for your other domains that you'll add on your website. So that's it for this video. In this video, you've seen how to set up your child name servers and use your own domain as your name servers. So if you want to see how to use Cloudflare, we're going to do that in the next video and I will see you in that next video.